ultrasonic sensor. Let me give you a look at one in vivid detail. Now notice the name is HCS04 and the letter is TNR next to the eye sockets. The way these work is very similar to human eyesight, except they use sound to detect distance of objects. Essentially a sound wave is bounced out into the environment and we measure how long it takes to come back. That length of time is going to give us the distance to the nearest object. Let me explain. The first thing we need to notice about it, it has four pins. Uh, VCC and G and D provide power to the circuitry. And this trigger pin is essentially what sets off the, the, the process of measuring distance into motion. The trigger pin sends out, once we turn it on, a sound wave is sent out from the T eye socket, the trigger eye socket. And that sound wave travels until it reaches an object, at which point it bounces back and it's detected by the receiver eye socket. Now, when it comes back, this echo pin here is going to give us the length of time it took in microseconds. Microseconds. So let's say that, okay, this thing went down, we detected an object and it took 2,000 microseconds. We can use this 2,000 microseconds to find out exactly how far that object is simply by observing that the speed of sound is 340 um, meters a second, which works out to 0.034 centimeters per microsecond. So if we take 2,000 microseconds, multiply it by 0 0.034 centimeters per microsecond, these two cancel, and we would get 68 centimeters. So the sound wave traveled a total of 68 centimeters, but because it took that long to go and come back, the distance of the object is actually half of that, which is 34. I don't know if you can see it, 34 centimeters. There it is. That's how we use ultrasonic sensors. Now, that's the theory. Let's build a circuit and write a program to do very much the same thing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab this ultrasonic sensor and wire it up so that we can get some readings on it from the Arduino um, serial monitor. Now, with those readings, we are going to be powering up one of these guys. Um, we're gonna connect this to pin 11 and try to create an effect that's just like the parking sensor. So we're going to create sounds that start off when our um, sensor is reasonably far, sounding like beep, beep. As it gets closer, it'll be like beep, 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 Okay, I think you know what I mean. Let's get to wiring it up. It's actually really easy. We just put this guy down somewhere like that, and our first pin is going to be ground. Our last pin is 5 volts. So we wire those two up. And we're going to put that there. So ground, one of the grounds. And the last guy is 5 volts. And our echo is going to be on pin 3, I think. Echo, yep. Yeah. 0, 1, two, three, and pin four is going to be our trigger. Now, for this guy, we could put him in um, the breadboard, but it's much easier if we just put him straight into the Arduino, so pin 11 is an ideal place. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Saves us some time. There we go. Wiring done. Let's program it. Right, so here's our code. Pin 11 is where the buzzer is attached. Duration is a variable where we're going to store the time in microseconds that it takes for a sound to bounce back. Pin 4 is output, that's our trigger pin. 3 is input, that's our echo pin. Now the siren pin is output and the serial port is initialized here. So we're going to use this one 
to basically tell us how many centimeters something is away from our sensor. So this is the code that's going to repeat on and on and on. This is our loop. We're going to start off by turning on the trigger, keeping it on for five microseconds and then turning it off. This has triggered a sound wave to leave our trigger pin and um, this wave is now being waited for to come back. When this wave comes back, we're told how many microseconds that took. And we convert the microseconds in travel time into centimeters by dividing by 58, which is a pretty straightforward conversion if you take um, the speed of sound to be 340 meters per second. And then we print out this value in centimeters. So when we upload this, we should be able to see a continuous value for distance. Okay, it's uploaded, serial monitor. And if we move something closer, there we are. The sensor essentially works. Now, how do we turn this value that we have there in centimeters into something like a parking sensor? Well, it's not that difficult. We're just going to turn our siren pin on for 100 milliseconds, and then we're gonna make a delay happen. So, siren pin high, and we're gonna delay by 100, and Then we're going to turn it off and we're going to keep it off for whatever that duration was. And let's have a look at what happens. That's brilliant. Okay, so I think that delay there could be even smaller. And if we just tweak it a little bit, like divided by three, we're gonna have ourselves a pretty good parking sensor. Testing time. That's brilliant. There you go. Thank you very much. Guys, just letting you know that every single one of these tutorials comes with a downloadable PDF manual and the finished program. The PDF manual usually contains more information about the program and step-by-step -step instructions that are illustrated on how to build a circuit. And the downloadable program will be sure to save you some time. So hop on over to robotics.com.au.